originally I'm a dairy farmer and I've been a dairy farmer for about 15 years and we've grown our dairy herd and we were looking at margins being reduced and we've seen that, you know, for to have a future we need to do something different. We're fifth generation, so we've a lot of heritage and a, a great story actually to tell. Another differentiation in our, in our business is, is the air miles actually that we travel, or our food miles. We have a dairy farm and next door our milk gets pumped, oh I'd say about 10 feet, it's into our plant and out our cold room and it's within two or three hours of its final destination. We won a number of great taste awards uh, in the UK and after that uh, Aldi came along and said could you do this product for us. We looked at it and sort of said God you know this could be very difficult because you're sort of saying well what damage are we going to do to our own brand but in saying that it's very difficult to get a brand started. It's extremely difficult and we sort of said well right you know we need cash coming in and a regular supply of cash coming in actually to drive this so that was the that was I suppose was the real reason that we actually went after it and it proved to be you know a reasonably good success for us we went and spoke to them and we got it up and going and then the market turned a little bit on us and they came back and sort of said listen no probably not the right time to launch a premium product onto the market after being put off for a year uh, it came back and we decided to get it up and going it took us about another four months actually to get the labeling everything done for us got it into the store it was a huge success for us. We were forecasted in to do about 3,500 units a week. We then suddenly realised we're actually doing 14,000 units a week, which was a great lift for us. And what that actually done for us was actually it gave us a good steady income week on week because the payment terms were extremely good to us. Although it's a low margin piece, we did have an income, we did have a profit off it. And that has now been able to drive our own brand as well. So it's actually now what it is. Uh, you know, our business now is very much based on where we have a nice piece of private label work going on that's actually helping us to get a bit of volume through the place, that's actually helping us to build our brand. In the last four months, we've actually been supplying Aldi in the UK, which is a great break for us. Going reasonably well, different market, different type of customer on that, and, and, and we need to tweak it and so forth. It gives us an export piece, which actually we wouldn't have had on our own brand, not for a number, uh, next number of years, we wouldn't have been capable of getting out there with our own brand. But now we've, we've, we've private label out there, we're actually getting the experience of what works and what doesn't work, and have no real uh, marketing uh, expense to ourselves. Hopefully in the next two weeks, we're actually going to launch with Dunn's, again, private label glass jar. So that has given us again the opportunity of, uh, of spreading the risk in our business. And the whole thing is to be doing something different to everyone. You know, to give everyone the same product, we would see that has been detrimental to our business. What we do is we offer something different. If we're doing one product with one supermarket, we will not do the same product uh, for the next one without it being differentiated. It's a different presentation, different style, different flavors and so forth.